Hello watcher and subscriber today we will see option menu and sub menu in android so here in this example edit and search these are the option menu and if you click on search then whatever the option you will get that will be sub menu and for creating this you have to select the resource option new select resource file new android resource file and create menu folder then in that menu folder you can create the xml file that will be used for creating atoms okay so in this example inside the menu folder we have custom menu.xml and for then in, then in that uh, xml file you get this uh, tab menu okay you get the tag menu and in that menu tag you have to create atom tag okay and in the atom tag you can use the attribute like id icon title show as action if room show as action if room means this atom okay you can say this icon will be appear in the toolbar area if the room is there okay and if in that in, in place of that you can also use always value if you use that then in the toolbar area anyhow you will get that option because in the toolbar area limited of limited space is there so because of that it is better if you use the value if room okay so in this way you can create the second atom like edit search okay then in, inside that atom we are having the sub atom okay inside this atom we have the sub atom like menu in that menu we have created the two sub menus like book and page okay then in the activity uh, in the activity file java file you have to create you have to override the method on create option menu and you use this statement by using this get menu inflow letter whatever the xml file you created custom menu that xml this file is using for creating menu that menu will be added in your main layout file okay then after this you can use the method on option atom selected this is used to perform event handling by using means after selecting options op, after selecting menu option or sub option if you want to perform some action then in that case you can use the option atom selected here in each cases you can use the id of your menus or you can say id of your sub menus then if here it means if the user click on uh, first atom he get the message you selected first atom means like that message you will get after clicking on options so i hope friend you got some idea now we are going into android studio for the programming so friend here i am in the android studio and here you should go in the app and here you select the resource folder just right click here select the new option and here you select android resource directory and here you select the menu option click on ok so here the menu folder will be created inside it again right click select new option and here menu resource file here i am writing name custom you can write any name click on ok then after this click on text here so here the menu <coughs> tag is created inside that you create the atom <coughs> so here in atom then you can give the id so here the id is atom1 then after that I am selecting title so title then again android icon you can select the icon whatever it is available here I am selecting launcher round then here i am selecting show as action then if room okay so this coding is completed for the first atom now i am moving for the second atom in the second atom i am using only necessary thing that is the id and title so the id is atom 2 and the title is edit 
it's better if i use capital letter here also i am using capital so we have created two now then now i am creating the third one android id item 3 android title search here i am using this closing tag because inside this i want to create the menu so i am writing like that closing this then inside that i want to create sub menu that is atom so here again you do the same procedure sub 1 android title here suppose i am writing book whatever the name that you want you can write sorry in place of this i should use this one then again atom android id sub 2 then android title copy so here our menus you can say option menus and sub menus are created then after that i am going into the activity main activity dot java and here you have to override some method select generate override method and here i am writing return true you should write get <coughs> menu inflator dot inflate r dot menu dot custom comma menu object you have to use here so after this you have to override second method so our second method is generate then here override option atom selected this method we want again i am specifying return true so inside it i am using the switch statement because we have many options so here our object is atom dot get atom id i want then here you have to use cases r dot id dot item 1 colon here you can use toast message you can specify the message whatever you, whatever you want to specify you selected you selected first option whatever the message that you want that you can write here so same procedure you have to repeat and here we have to use break statement so this code you have to repeat for each cases except that the id and message will be different so in this way friend i have created i have created the message for each option means if you click on atom 1 this message will come if you click on atom 2 then you selected second option so in this way if you click on Uh, sub menu then you get the message you selected second sub option so finally i am running the program and testing the output
so here our app is running and if I click on here that is nothing but first option and if I click on this three dot here the option menus will create you selected on second option if I click on here search the other option will open book and copy so that toast message will appear so in this way uh, you have to practice this for getting the options and sub menus in the program so i hope friend you understood this tutorial